what's up everybody Dorn Aldana here coming at you from the mortgage marketing easy for me to say the mortgage marketing podcast the art of mortgage marketing podcast coming at you live from Facebook tripping on my lips blundering and I'm still showing up live baby and this is going to be a very interesting topic for a lot of you because we're going to talk about today how to close more deals with less realtors and less drama how to close more deals with less realtors and less drama. Sounds like a beautiful pairing, does it not? If you think about it, there are so many different ways to slice and dice how you're gonna go about attracting real estate agents, how you're even gonna attract borrowers. There are so many different ways. There's social media, there's Facebook ads, there's Google AdWords, there's direct mail, there's smiling and dialing, there's a million and one ways to go about attracting business. Now the question is, what's the shortest path to the cash? That's the question I'm always asking. That's the question I'm always getting my clients to operate within. What's the shortest path to the cash? There's no brownie points for doing it the hard way. There's no merit badges for doing it the hard way. So if you think about real estate agents, one of the reasons why real estate agents are the perennial go-to for mortgage professionals to attract quality leads is because the client obviously is needing the real estate agent to search for the property in many cases. And by virtue of that, they're a great referral source, but there's lots of different ways of attracting realtors and there's lots of different types of realtors to go after. Do we go after the bottom feeding, bottoms, you know, groveling, whining, sniveling, complaining, jelly, donut eating, low producing real estate agents who have jacked at least squat for clients and jacked at least squat for opportunity to send you business? Or do we go after the top dogs? Do we go after the top producers? Do we go after the guys who have the most amount of clients, the most amount of inventory, which attracts the most amount of clients, who have the most amount of influ influence and clout with their clientele? When they say jump, the client says how high? Which one do you think is gonna get you more business? Which one do you think is gonna be more rewarding financially? Obvious reasons, it would be the latter, not the former. Now, most people have this objection though. They say, well, Doran, those people have the prima donna mindset. They, sh they think their shit doesn't stink. They think that they're, they're the best things in sliced bread. They think they can walk on water and uh, they don't need any help. They don't want any help and they're already married to their lender. Well, what if that was the truth if that's what you believe, but what if there's another truth called these people have lots of holes in their marketing, lots of hemorrhaging where they're leaving money on the table, lots of under optimization, in their database marketing, in their follow-up, in their social media, in their reputation, in their reviews online, and how they're showing up for buyers, how they're showing up for listing clients, and they're leaving a lot of money on the table. What if that was another truth? And what if that truth gave you an opportunity to turn that opportunity of those challenges in their business into income for you? Because now you can show up like no one else does, and you can get the referrals like no one else does. What if their difficulty became your opportunity because you're able now to add unique value like no one else does? And what if by virtue of that, you could work with just a handful, just a handful of top producers doing 20 transactions plus per year, and instead of herding cats, trying to push soggy noodles up hills, going after the masses with the mediocre real estate agents who don't have the buyers, who are a complete mess when it comes to time management, who are flaky, who are disorganized, who don't follow through on their word, and frankly, are a pain in the ass and annoying and frustrating and drama queens. Because let's be real, real estate agents aren't that fun to work with unless you have the right synergy, true? I mean, we got the prima donnas, we got the drama queens, we got the arrogant assholes, we got the guy who thinks that his shit doesn't stink and he's got it all figured out, he's not coachable, he's not, willing to talk about anything new. He just wants to stick with what he already knows. And he's totally brash and doesn't take ownership for his side of the street. He's always blaming, blaming and complaining. Is that really the person you want to roll with? Is that the person you want to infect your energy orbit with? I don't think so. Life is too short to hang with assholes as far as I'm concerned. You want to roll with people who fill you with energy and life and joy and passion. You want to roll with people that are fun and fulfilling right? You don't want to roll with chumps. You want to roll with champs. You want to roll with people that ignite you and excite you. And so what if the game was this? 
What if the game wasn't getting anyone and anyone? What if the game was going narrow, deep, and rich with just a few top producing, kick-ass, synergistic, complimentary, great chemistry, rock star real estate agents who you can add massive value to and who you can be a strategic partner with, not just in terms of getting the loans done on time, not just in terms of providing great rates and great service, which is what all the other leeching loan officers and parasite mortgage professionals are offering, but instead you're adding massive value that helps them make the cash register ring with more zeros and commas. And you're bringing it in a way where you're able to dance in your strengths, doing the stuff that really adds value to them, but also it adds value to you because you actually enjoy making a difference in someone's life. You enjoy helping someone go from good to great. You enjoy helping someone go from where they are now to where they want to be. You enjoy the process, being the catalyst for someone's breakthrough. So for you, it's fulfilling because you get to be a difference maker in someone's life. And what if by virtue of that, you can get yourself in with and strategically align with top producers who literally put you on their speed dial, make you their exclusive, send you all their business all the time. And meanwhile, doing that, working on your terms, not theirs, so that you have the cookie, you're calling the shots. And because you're adding so much value, they need you more than you need them. How's that for flipping the script? We're flipping the script entirely. So you're in the power position. And now you can pick and choose who you work with. And they feel privileged and honored to have the privilege to work with you because you show up like a champion. You show up like, man, this guy or this gal is something special. Not only do they help me with the, my loans and they do a phenomenal job on that first class all the way. They've helped me get more deals done, better, faster, easier. They've helped me to automate my follow-up. They helped me to automate my database marketing. They have helped me to capture more leads in my open houses, follow up with those leads. They've helped me with a concierge, marketing concierge that helps to do all the minutia so I don't have to do it, so I can just do what I do best and get the best do all the rest. Like, what if you were that kind of strategic partner and they sent you all their business all the time and they sent you two deals a month? How much would that be worth to you? How much would one VIP partner who sent you two deals a month be worth to you? Think about that. For the average mortgage professional, that's like six Gs a month, right? Six Gs a month, that's 72 Gs a year just from one. And do the math on that. How many of those would you like? Half a dozen? A dozen? You don't need that many, do you? What if instead of it being two deals, it was three deals? You can see that it doesn't take that many of these high level strategic partnerships to change your life, to make life changing income. You can make half a million to a million plus per year with five to 12 solid partners, not 15, not 20, not 30, not 40. We're talking five to 12, half a dozen to a dozen solid partners and you're in life changing income. And notice how instead of having to change diapers and herd cats with the multitude, you're just working with the elite few. Because you'd rather run with the few than drag the many. You'd rather roll with champions than have to dumb things down to the lowest common denominator and deal with the strife and the struggle and the stress of rolling with all the chumps who aren't committed, who aren't coachable, who aren't all in, and they're addicted to excuses and rationalizations and justifications, and they're dragging their heels. You'd rather run with the few than drag the many. And you are absolutely in a power position because again, you're adding more value to them than they've ever even thought possible, possible from a loan officer. And the cool thing is you're having a ton of fun doing it. So you're making more money, you're having more fun, you have amazing synergy, amazing energy. These are friends now. These are people who would come to your funeral. You'd go to their funeral, they come to your wedding. They would come to your birthday party. Like these are people who are knit into your life with mutual respect and honor and appreciation and love. That's what I'm talking about. It's called a rising tide that raises all the boats. Everyone's winning collectively in a spirit of synergy and harmony and collaboration. That's what you want to create. Now contrast that to what most people do in this business, which is, going after anyone with a pulse who could fog a mirror, who calls himself a real estate agent, doing the meetings, doing the coffee meetings, 
and getting a bunch of lofty promises that never materialize, making a bunch of friends, but having no partners. You've got all these partners, but you get a deal once in a blue moon. You might have 20, 30, 40 realtors in your stable, and yet you only get a deal from each one of them maybe once every five, six, seven, eight, 12 months. So they're wishy-washy, they're uncommitted, they lack loyalty. And at the same time, they're treating you like their loan bitch, expecting you to answer the phone on a Sunday night at 10 o'clock, expecting you to call back immediately on a Saturday night at 10 o'clock. Are you kidding me? They don't even commit to sending you all their buyers all the time. And yet they treat you like their loan bitch. They think that you should be jumping on every you know, single call or any single text that, you, that they send your way. And you're going to be towed around by the electro, electronic leash by any whim or wish they might have. And that's how they think. They think that's normal because most loan officers are replaceable commodities and they let that kind of shit roll. They let people just stop all over them told them around by the electronic leash and dictate the terms and conditions because indeed they are replaceable. They're a replaceable cog in the wheel. There's nothing unique about what they offer. They're just a rate jukebox. They are a replaceable commodity. Do not let that be you. That's called doing it the hard way. So now you're working with a bunch of drama queens who have high expectations. They don't stand it, stay in their own lane. They're expecting all these outlandish expectations of you where you're trying to get there when things go awry and now all of a sudden they got a fire to, to put out. Now they think you're the lone resurrector, right? You got to resurrect this deal. So now they think you're the resurrection specialist resurrecting their deals and you're the last resort loan officer. Now that's a lot of drama. That's a lot of crisis. Now you're constantly in reactive mode. What if you can dictate the terms and conditions? What if you can dictate how people work with you? What if you can dictate the rules of engagement? Would that make a difference? Would that be a game changer for you? Would that make a difference in the flow and the vibration and the energy of your day? you got to believe it. But until and unless you offer value that allows you to have that kind of clout and that kind of leverage, you can't expect that. You can't expect to be getting that kind of respect and that kind of authority if you haven't earned it by virtue of value. you got to make yourself irreplaceable and indispensable before you ever can come to the table commanding and demanding that kind of rules of engagement. But if you think about the model that most loan officers are operating by, it's complete ass backwards. They're chasing realtors every Monday with the same lame ass value proposition, let's get together for coffee or how was your weekend or whatever it was. There's no real unique value. Every single Monday they're thinking, why is this person calling me with the same lame ass approach every single week? And yet that's what so-called mortgage coaches are telling you to do. Cold calling realtors with no real value proposition. I wanna meet with you just to see how I can help you. Well, seriously, that's what every loan officer says. What if you had something unique and compelling that made it fun and easy to book appointments? What if you could use technology to book those appointments so you got them hot for what you got, pre-sold and pre-tenderized and ready to meet with you before you even call them? So you're like a hot knife through freaking butter calling them and booking appointments because they're already pre-sold, pre-tenderized, predisposed to say yes because you're using technology to do all that heavy lifting in advance. And now you can cherry pick from a list of 50 to 100 top producers and whittle that down and interview that down into maybe five to 10, maybe max 12 top producing VIP partners who go all in and commit to you and they align with you and your true partners. Now, instead of having to herd cats and change diapers to 20, 40, 50 of these wishy-washy chumps, you're working with just a few committed champs who you love working with and who love working with you. Which one do you think you're going to make more money with? You better believe it's going to be the champs. Which one are you going to have more fun with? You better believe it's going to be the champs. Which one do you think is going to be more re rewarding and fulfilling? You better believe it's going to be the champs. So if you want to get champion level results, you can't afford to have a chump level strategy and a chump level approach to getting these real estate partners on board and working with you. If you want to have champion level results, you can't afford to have a chump level approach and strategy. And unfortunately, 
the so-called mortgage coaches out there are leading you astray with lame ass value propositions, no value proposition, caveman marketing from the dark ages, smiling and dialing, cold calling realtors. That's from the dark ages, friends. It's the 21st freaking century. Let's get with the game. Let's get with the times. There are, there's a better way. There's no brownie points at the bank for doing it the hard way. Come on now. If you're going to work, you might as well get rich and you might as well do it with the shortest path to the cash. You might as well have fun. That's what I'm saying. Might as well have fun. You might as well have the most expedient pathway. I call it simple elegance. Keep it simple, superstar. No need to overcomplicate this. So that's my proposition to you. Stop doing it the hard way with all the drama and trauma of herding cats. Let's go straight to the cash. Let's go straight to what works. Let's go straight to the fun and the fulfillment and the funds by going after the top dogs, have a realtor attraction system that gets them hot for what you got before you even call them, booking appointments where you're in command, you're in demand, and they see a refreshing difference in you. It's like a breath of fresh air. All of a sudden it's like, yes, this guy or this gal gets it. I love the way he shows up. I love the way she shows up. I, I love the posture. It's so refreshing to be interviewed by someone who's got something to bring to the table with confidence and clarity and certainty. Instead of someone who just wanna look, wants to lo leech loans from me with commission breath halitosis. Come on now. That's just Joe Schmo boring, mundane mediocrity. We don't want to be mediocre. If you want to create a dream life and a dream, dream business, you can't afford to be mediocre. You know it and I know it. So now you're in the power position. You're interviewing them, not the other way around. You're vetting them. You're discerning and determining who's going to be on your team, who's going to make it and make the cut on your dream team, not the other way around. And if any of them get, give you any flack, if any of them at any time do not operate by the rules of engagement that they agreed to in advance by virtue of having the privilege to work with you, you simply fire them and replace them. Simple as that. How's that for the way to do business? How's that for flipping the table? How's that for flipping the script? How's that for shifting the energy and the dynamics in a typical real estate and mortgage relationship? Night and day difference, is it not? It's like a breath of fresh air. It's a total different game. You get to own your dignity, own your power, call the shots. You're in control. Don't give up your power to anyone else or anything else. You're in control. You control your destiny. This is your business. You call the shots on the terms and conditions on how people are going to roll with you. But in order for you to do that, you need to have extreme ownership. That means you're the source. You want to win? You're the source. You want to conquer? You're the source. You want to make your dream a reality? You're the source. You want to make champion money? You're the source. You want to make more money in one month than you used to make in a whole year? You're the source. You can't put that on anyone or anything. It's not the market. It's not your supervisor. It's not your employer. It's not your rates. It's not your products. You're the source. So own your power and don't ever give it up because the moment you blame shift, make excuses, rationalize, justify, you give up your power. And if you want to have powerful results, you can't afford to be powerless and give up your power. You guys with me on that? So what I'm saying is this. Keep it simple, superstar. Go for champions. Go for winners. Be the winner you want to attract. Lead by example. You want to add value to your partner's business? You better start with your own. How are you winning in your own business? How are you leading by example in your own business? How are you getting sharper in your own business? How are you building muscle and flexing that muscle in your own business? How are you getting better every single day and sharper every single day and wiser every day in your own business? If you're not leading by example, you're not going to attract a winner if you're not showing up like a winner. You know it and I know it. Winners attract winners. If you want to win, you can't afford to be a wimp and wait for someone else to give you the tools, give you the strategies, give you the systems. Give No, you got to invest in yourself. No one's going to just pass out freebies and say, hey, man, here's your million dollar strategy. Here's your million dollar mindset. Here's your million dollar muscle. No, you got to earn it. It's like the saying, success is never owned. It's rented and rent is due every damn day. So it's time to claim your power, friends. It's time to own your power. It's time to step into your power. It's time to step into your winner self. 
You guys with me on this? If you don't step into it, who's going to do it for you? If you're not a stand for your greatness, who's going to be a stand for you? No one else is going to own it until you own it. Once you claim that and you own that identity of being a winner and attracting winners and leading by example, that's when all the magic starts to happen in your life and in your business. It starts with you. But it's about elegant simplicity. Start by understanding that the shortest path to the cash is not all this minutia, all these Facebook leads and all this stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Social media, Instagram, Twitter, all these things. You know, the shortest path to the cash is you get yourself six to 12 top producing agents who do 20, 30, 40, 50 plus transactions a year. And they send you all their buyers, even the ones who are already pre-approved. You need to get pre-approved through my preferred lender, whether you're pre-approved or not. Because I want to know that you're getting the best mortgage with the best rates and terms available. I want to know that you have a solid professional in your corner. This transaction is too important to lead to happenstance and chance. Like that kind of absolute certainty. We're not asking the client to do it. We're telling the client to do it because that's how important this transaction is. We're not leaving a chance or happenstance. We're not smoking the hope dope. Hope is great if you're in prison, but it doesn't make for a very good plan to have success certainty, does it? Man, I'm getting on a roll today, baby. I'm getting on that rant roll that's just got me strolling and going and slowing. And I don't even know what I'm saying because I'm just flowing and going and all of a sudden I'm tripping on my lips and I got terrible rhymes on times when it's you know supposed to be divines. But right now I'm just fluttering and blundering and tripping on my lips. So it's time to give you my one last tip. If you guys want to win, you've got to own your power. You've got to see victory, own victory, feel victory. Your bank account ain't what it, where you want it to be. Focus on the fact that this is muscle building time. And that bank account is not a reflection of you or your capability. It's just a reflection of old habits, old habit force, old actions old rituals and routines. It has nothing to do with your capability. It has nothing to do with what you're capable of. It just has to do with old habits that have gotten you old results. You can start today by building new habits. Start today by seeing yourself as a winner, seeing the desired outcome in advance, feel it and celebrate it in advance, and then do the work. Now, if you're listening to this right now, you're like, Dawn, I love it. I'm, I'm picking up what you're laying down, but I need some strategy. I need some clarity. I need to understand how to get that value proposition. What I would invite you to do, if indeed you're that person, you're on 100% commission, you eat what you kill, no safety net, you're defiantly committed to making 100K plus per year or more on top of what you're already making. So you're not looking for a little incremental improvement in your business. You're looking for a monumental avalanche of awesome in your business. And you know that what you're doing ain't working at the level you need it to. You know that if you keep doing it the way you've always done it, you'll keep getting it the way you've always been getting it. And that ain't cutting it anymore. And you've come to the place where you've decided enough is enough no more. I've had it. It's time to step up. It's time to man up, woman up, champion up, and start winning at a higher, higher level. If that is you, I invite you to take advantage of a complimentary breakthrough call where we lift up the hood on your business. I'm setting aside time in my schedule, along with my consultants, to meet with you one-on-one -on -one over the phone. What we'll do is we'll lift up the hood on your business. We're gonna look at what is working right now in your business, what's not working in your business right now, and what it's gonna take, what it's really gonna take to bridge the gap between where you are and where you wanna be. And if we can help you get there, by all means, I will show you how or my team will show you how. If not, we'll be the first people to advise you to pass on our services, because at the end of the day, we're not the right fit for everybody. But you'll come out of this call either way with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are we'll have some fun and we'll make a meaningful difference in your life because clarity is power. Without clarity, you start to get in your own way because you've got foggy vision. As the Bible says, without vision, the people perish. Without clarity, the people perish. Because all of a sudden, you start getting in your own way and you don't realize you don't know what you don't know. You don't realize how much you're tolerating. You don't realize how much 
you're asleep to the consequence of being in the same old place, doing the same old thing, getting the same old results and staying stuck in stagnation. You're asleep to the fact that you're only in first gear and you got four more gears and you're only half throttle and there's a whole lot more throttle and you got the emergency brake on and you're in the parking lot. Time to take that emergency brake off and get out of the parking lot, get on the fast track, baby, because you were born to win. You're born for the highways of life. You're born for acceleration and growth and exhilaration and joy and passion, fulfillment and impact and prosperity. Not limping along in survival mode. Screw fricking that. You're called to more. So if you'd like to take advantage of this, I invite you to take advantage of that breakthrough call by going to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Book a call. We'll connect with you. We'll have a massive impact clarity call like you never have before. And chances are we'll even change your life if you're ready for your breakthrough. Not everyone's ready. We can lead a horse to water, but not everyone's going to drink. That's why we only work with thirsty horses. But if you're a thirsty horse, and you're defiantly committed to stepping up your game and taking your business to that next level, this is exactly the first step. Book your breakthrough call. MortgageMarketingCoach.com forward slash apply. Today's call is absolutely complimentary. There is no cost, no obligation, no strings attached. My gift to you. And what we've been talking about today is how to close more deals with less realtors and less drama, more elegance, more simplicity, more power, more fun, more fulfillment, more joy, and more funds in your wallet. So take this to heart, take action on these ideas. Don't just let them slip in one ear and out the other. The biggest gap in life is the gap between that which we know and that which we do. So take massive action, friends. So let's make this thing happen. This is Dorn Aldana from MortgageMarketingCoach.com from the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. and I trust you're getting value from this. If you are, please do give me a review on the Apple iTunes uh, iTunes section. There's a review place there. Would love your reviews. Hit me up with your reviews also on Facebook. We have a, a Facebook group. MortgageMarketingCoach.com is our Facebook page. And our group is the Art of Mortgage Marketing. Come join the party. All right, guys. Be blessed. I love you. Keep showing up. Keep doing the work. Own your champion identity. See yourself as a champion. Show up like a champion. You're about to get champion results, baby. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.